Teachers in northern New Mexico are locked in a fight with their school district and the state, and now they fear their school may be shut down for good. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Lana Grimstad explains the bitter battle from Española. Students and teachers here at Carino's Charter School are so worried, not knowing if their school is going to close. School officials say last week, state inspectors red tagged the school, saying the building was unsafe, pointing out things like electrical problems and asbestos. As a result, the Española School District is trying to close down the charter school and send the 200 kids elsewhere. But faculty, parents, and students are fighting to keep their school. Even though classes were canceled a couple days last week, administrators say the building is safe. And they've been sleeping overnight at the school so no one can lock it up and kick them out. Oh, they were devastated because our kids have been going to here, been going to the school since it started. You know, my daughter who's in sixth grade now was just terrified. You know, she went home crying because she didn't know, not one, for her school, for two, her friends. You know, just like she said, this is a second home to her because she's so tight and close. And, you know, that staff is great here. School is now back in session here, but on Tuesday, the Española School District refused to allow the buses to transport the kids and wouldn't provide any food in the cafeteria. And so, charter school administrators say parents had to drive their own kids and they had to provide food. For those children. Reporting in Espanola, Alana Grimstad, KOA.